What's up guys, this is Can't Drive 16 and today I'm going to be showing you how to sharpen your files without using acid. Now if you're like me, you did not know that your files could even be sharpened and what people suggest doing is taking acid that you can get from I don't know where, probably Lowe's or somewhere like that hardware store and you dunk it in there and it takes about 15 minutes or so and it eats away and sharpens your files which of course did not know that was a thing, but you can do that. Uh, so, I'm using something else to kind of substitute the acid, and it's something that a lot of you probably could guess if I let you try, but I'm not going to. Because I'm not using apple cider vinegar, I'm using it for the little file here. Um, but, as you can see, it says 5% acidity. It's been reduced with water, and that's what we're using. Not apple cider for both, but we're using distilled white vinegar for this one, and it's been sitting for about... A week probably about five or six days I'm not in any rush to get these things done and cleaned up so you know I mean I got other things that I can use to file I got other files and things like that so I'm not really too worried this is kind of just a test and we'll see what it looks like oh yeah that definitely worked if you've ever used uh, if you've ever used cast iron and you've ever cleaned it up oof, that smells horrible There we go. Sorry for the bad camera. Woo! That is, it's it's smelly, but you know what? It works out really well, apparently. Let's see if it, uh, let's see if it cut good. I'm going to take this one and the other one over here in the bottle, and I'm going to rinse them off and oil them a little bit, and just kind of clean them up, and then we'll give it a little test. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of wipe these guys off. Um, all I've done so far is rinse them. And as you can see, the, um, <clears throat> the water was very dirty. And I can run my hand along this and feel it's very, very um, sharp now compared to what it was or, you know, more... Uh, resist it. Before, my hand would just slide over it without any kind of resistance. And same thing for the metal. If I, Whenever I tried to use it, it would just slide right over without a uh, without any kind of second thought. It would just slide right over and wouldn't really um, do anything, which is kind of unfortunate. And it's very aggravating when that happens. What I'm doing is kind of cleaning these up. Kind of getting any little deposits out of it or anything like that. Throw a little golf ball handle we got here on. And we'll try this out. Like I said before, um, it was getting clogged up really quickly. And the back side, uh, whichever side that might have been, uh, was just skidding right across any kind of metal uh, that I used. And as you can see, this is going to be pretty dirty, but let's see what we got. Oh yeah. It's still skidding a little bit right there. Right there it's still skidding. You can see all the uh, rust and stuff in there. We'll take this rust off and try again. Okay, you can see a lot of rust. Uh, metal. And everything flying around down here. Ooh, it's a lot easier to clean, too. Before, I would have to scrub it and scrub it and scrub it. Okay. So, we'll try again. Yeah, I can feel a lot more resistance. I did really good. You can see there, we'll try this side. Yep. That side's doing just as good. It's pushing me back a little bit. That's how much resistance is in it. As you can see... Let me see here. As you can see there, quite a lot of um, particles and such in 
the file, so that's definitely working. Let's see about this little one. Yeah, it's, I don't know why they're skidding at the bottom. You can kind of hear that probably. But up here. But yeah, it's still... Right there, for some reason, it's just not working. I don't know why they're not working at the bottom. Uh, it could just be these are getting too worn out to even work with. Um, but there you go. Camera's not really focusing, but... Yeah. Now all I'm going to do is spray these down with a bit of WD-40 and clean them up some more. So, But yeah, that seemed to work, as you can tell. Did really good, and that's nice and smooth, and it cut very well, especially that big one. <clears throat> Considering it wasn't cutting hardly at all before. So... These are the files after they've been hand washed in some warm soapy water and they cleaned up very very nice. Um, I think they're going to do just fine. Uh, these are some older files. These are Nicholson files uh, and they're working pretty good. Um, this side before was barely cutting at all. Now both sides are cutting tremendously well. So this technique of using the distilled white vinegar works out pretty well. The only thing I'd say is just don't leave it in there too long because it might damage it. So just be very cautious with that uh, and don't leave it in there too long. Uh, the edges here are damaged on these just a little bit, but I think that could have been from previous use. As I said, these are some older files. This handle was made by me. It's made from Poplar. It's just a really basic handle. If you want to know about the golf ball handle, it is from another channel, um, Mr. Wrangler Star. If you want that, I can drop it down in the comment section, a link to his channel and this video on the golf ball. Um, but he got it from one of his subscribers. The only thing I don't like about it is I had to epoxy the nut down in there, and all that does is screw on the end of your, your uh, rat tail. So, pretty simple, pretty easy. It works pretty good. It's pretty comfortable. I can't really complain too much with it. Anyways guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a thumbs up. It'd be much appreciated. And if this worked out for you as well as it did for me, drop a comment, let me know. Anyways guys, hopefully you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you later.